Hey guys, welcome back. Engineer Prepper here. So um, I'm going to show you uh, what I've done so far with the uh, the Arduino um, data logger. So I'm, I'm right now. I'm trying to. F I did all the wiring. I put all the wires on the on these little adapters here, and uh, I'll show you what they look like when you order them. I got these off e uh, Amazon. And you can, not that one, but here, uh, these are those, uh, J, what do they call these, J something adap uh, adapters, and then you got the regular pins, which are the ones I'm using right now, it comes with, uh, 87654, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten pin out. You, you just have to crimp, crimp each wire with the crimper. No big deal. Take some practice at first, but you get used to it. So, here, I, I got this. Uh, these little project boxes out of uh, a Radio Shack, and uh, I was playing around the placement of. Of each um, sense, each module for the data logger. I'm trying to figure it out. I need to do one more. I need to put a hole on top of here for the light sensor. This one's going to slide in like this. And I black I black this one this one out. So that way, the only thing it gets is the light from from the outside, and nothing, none of the LEDs from the inside. So that's what I got right now. There's the temperature, humidity, the light sensor. This one I, don't, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with it yet. If I'm going to leave it in inside, I was thinking maybe cutting a notch here and having the just this portion stick out, you know, like this. A little. Okay, but I'm still trying to figure it out. Maybe, maybe, um, yeah, I might do that. And uh, I'm building the Arduinos right now. I think I got one here, here, and here. This is from my. This one's. I, this is the one I built for um, for the garden, uh, the watering bed. I, 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 I'm just going off my my design here. I put together uh, the layout. I should say, not the design. So. Um, so right now I just finished the 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 power supply for this one. Now I was just testing it, and as you can see, oh crap! This there it is. You can see it's LEDs lit up. Testing the voltage, voltage out, and here in the in the center. I sh these are the center rails I should have five volts and I do five exactly let's see if you guys can see that there it is five volts I just got it reversed no oh, I got my leads reversed so anyway that's the update for now um, I'm building like I said I'm building uh, these standalone Arduinos, uh, so I, uh, for future projects, um, if I'm building one, might as well build the other ones that I could build right now. That way I don't have to do them down the road. So that way, you just grab and go. Anyway, that's that's an update for now. Um, uh, like I said, I, I'm still not done with the code because I did. If you notice in here, I did put a relay in here. Which is going to be my auto shut sh auto shut off feature for uh, when measuring voltage, uh, or um, or you know, for the battery won't doesn't die, or, or whatever you you, you could program it to do whatever. Um, I just wanted to put an, a uh, a relay in there for any use, honestly. So um, let me clean this up. So that's about it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, um, 
And what I'm doing, here's the, the front panel. Um, I don't know, what I'm, I might put some buttons or something, LEDs or whatnot. Oh, yeah, that's the thing. I'm going to put a Hall Effect sensor. Um, let's see if I can find that thing. It's over here. Uh, let me look. Let me look. So you guys can see what it looks like. Isn't that it? Basically, what a Hall Effect here is the Hall of Effect sensor. They're really tiny. What it is, it's it's like a man magnetic switch. Um, I might use that to re you know if I need to reset the Arduino, I don't have to open it up. I'll just put an, a Hall Effect sensor somewhere on the side or something like that right here and then I use a magnet to uh, reboot the, the Arduino without opening it up so I'll, I'll, I'll show that in the schematic hey guys I just wanted to um, finish this video off with um, with the ending uh, that I finished the, Ar the, the Arduino standalones so I hate these boards, but they take forever to solder, but they work. So these are my pinouts. This is a positive rail. That's a negative rail. So that way I could just put all the grounds and the positives there. Five volts. Anyway, I just want, it's early in the morning, so I just want to show this, um, show you guys that uh, I got three of them done. Here's Here's the the one that runs the the water bed. I mean water bed, uh, garden bed. So it says, oh, come on, zoom in. Seventeen thirty. So this one goes off at five thirty. All right. Well, anyway, just wanted to show you guys. Talk to you later. Hey guys, Engineer Prepper here. All right. I've I finished the data logger um, to the best of my ability at, at the moment. Uh, there's a couple things I wanted to do, but in order to do what I wanted to do, I had to order extra things from uh, from eBay, and they take a couple weeks to get here, and I'm, I didn't want to wait. So uh, the, what I wanted to do is I wanted to have a waterproof uh, connection for um, the battery in the uh, the the voltage source and and the load on this side. Let me zoom in here. That's the full amp meter portion. So I just ha I just cut a notch and hot glued it for the moment. Uh, no big deal. So the other thing I did was let's see if you can see them. There you go. I drilled a couple of vent holes for the um, uh, humid humidity sensor and the temperature sensor that's in there. And the other thing is I drilled another hole. It has a film in between. Um, that way if, if a water droplet gets in there, it won't, it won't seep in from here. Uh, and that's for the light sensor. So it's all in there. Uh, the other thing I did from, the, um, from where I left off was I added, like I, mentioned, like I said I mentioned, I added a um, Hall Effect sensor right there it's what it's these things where is it these things are tiny I mean you, you see my thumb Let's see if I could zoom focus no it won't focus there we go yep you see how big it is in my thumb it's very tiny Oop. so anyway I went ahead and put it there uh, but there's a little there's a washer behind it so it's a, mag a magnet so as soon as I put the magnet on, the display will turn off. When it, it's reversed, I I, I didn't I don't like it because it's the way it works is reversed from what I want it to do. Right now, if I leave it like this without the magnet, the display will stay on. If I put the magnet on, the the display will uh, turn off. I wanted the other way around. I wanted it off like this and on when I needed it. But um, I'll I'll see if I can figure that out another time. 
uh, if I if I can reverse, I can't reverse the polarity of the sensor. It won't. It, won't, it doesn't work that way. So, um, without further ado, I'm gonna plug it in so I can show you how that that uh, Hall effect sensor work. So, the, the way I have this connected at, right now, uh, this is my volt. Uh, this is the voltage source for the uh, battery clip for the Arduino. Uh, just plug in the put a battery there, shove it in in the box, and and that that's it. If you don't want to use the uh, volt amp meter, um, but right now, just to test perf just so I could test these, you know, this section is working. Um, I'm plugging my voltage source here, and this is my load, which my load is the Arduino. So turn it on. So you guys can see it's working. I, the display, yeah, anyway. So as, when I put the magnet on, there, it turns off. Move it up. Oh. See, that's how it works. So what I'll do is for now is I'll put a piece of tape there, electrical tape or something, and when I need the display on, it'll come on. So that's it for that part. Um, I let's see what else is there anything else I uh, mentioned? No, nope. everything's all done. Everything's all the everything else is the same. Um, I, I'd like to improve on it a little bit, but uh, I think this is good enough. The only thing I need to figure out now is I hate accessing the the, the SD card from the inside. Because of the screws, I have to undo it, get in, take the SD card out. Uh, it's, I think that's going to be a little pain in the butt. So I might somehow probably have a, a slot in the front here. Um, there we go. I might have a little slot here where I could put the, the SD card sticking out this way a little bit. Now I can access it from the front if I need quick access, quick access to it. But um, let me see if I. Uh, I'll put in the SD card now. So turn it off, so you guys can see that it's probably proper, properly working. Okay. I want to put the display off. Let's see. All right. Grab my phone here. Let's see if I can get it. No. There we go. See, it's reading eight volt, eight point two three volts on the. I need a. The battery's dead on my um, real time clock, so I'm gonna have to change the battery. That's why it's reading one one two thousand and eleven o'clock at night, eleven thirty. Um, but you can see that the temperature 68, humidity 46, and the light sensor is reading 1, 159. Let's see what I Anyway, there we go. So it's not drawing that many, many watts or amperage. So that's, that's what I like to see. But anyway, that's it for now, guys. Um, I'll be posting... What I'll be doing here, uh, probably the next day or two, is I'll post, uh, I'm going to write up the PDF, and I might put it on, I uh, probably will put it on Instructables, and uh, that way everybody could, you know, get a, a download zip file with the, with the code and, and, the, and the instructions. So, but in order for me to do that, you guys got a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit like, uh, comment if you if you want, you know. But mainly uh, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Is, um, that way I know this is stuff like stuff like this is what you guys like to see, and um, you know put together on a whim or uh, or you know to save a dime. Because all this stuff is I found scavenging around, you know, like 
these little this wire. It's actually for a string gauge wire. It's um, but it's, it's great for little projects like this. You could just you know put things together and and whatnot. And this is my Arduino kit that I um, the, all the pieces that you need to build a standalone Arduino. Where is it? Where is the Arduino? There we go. See, it's all the pieces for that. Here's the Atmel chips, sockets, capacitor, push button, voltage regulator, caps, and LEDs. So, anyway, I guess uh, that's it. See you guys in the next vid. 